Once again, just on the inside of Brandon oh, Gallagher. Look out. Oh, and upside down is Earnhardt. This is going to be a mix. Be a behind us, the 33 of Harvey, down, Joey Logano involved. More cars still spinning in this multiple car crash. Six rows back of two by two, but side by side, coming out of oh, number two, around goes the 32 and hard into the wall. Miguel Paluto, hard into the wall, coming out of turn number four. Very reminiscent of Danica's accident in the duel. On the inside line. Wow, maybe he let off the, maybe he made an evasive like action there because of PK Jr. Wow, Look at what, the a, violence. what an impact. That, how, how violent that was. That truck weighs 3,500, 3,700 pounds, and it flies up in the air like that and catches on fire. And yet... Prior to today, the only place oh, where... Oh, oh, big trouble. That's the rookie Suarez up and over Regan Smith, the big one at Daytona in the tri-oval. Hmm. 27 laps to go at Daytona. Second caution of the day. It's not for a tire getting away. It's for a big crash on the front straightaway. Oh, oh, we didn't start here. finish oh, we line. Logano comes down oh. into Paul Menard. No. One car gets up on top of a group oh, and goes flipping over and over, and the 30 lands on its roof. That's Parker Kligerman. Cole Witt's teammate that oh. just wrecked in that first caution. Trying to get with his teammate, Kyle Busch, but mm. comes back up. That tips Logano into Trevor Bain. His nose catches Paul Menard, who plows into Kligerman, who gets up in the air on top of Menard's car. And who's that underneath? Black car. That's the 83 yes. car of Ryan Truex. gets kind of stuck in the middle there and gets comes across the fours bumper as he does he spins back in gets the three airborne and he just gets projected off the other cars right up into the fence he went from the bottom of the racetrack over he got trouble behind him Rick around they go it looked like it was Eric Almarola that was the first to go sideways and then collecting numerous cars behind him Murray actually comes down and gets onto the left front it's on from there. I mean, we talked about it earlier. As soon as somebody makes a mistake and you're in this big pack of cars, you're going to take a lot of people with you. It's just how it happens. You can see some of these cars riding around the back actually got in the rack as well. So one, one mistake by a driver, a mistake by two drivers, and this is what happens. It's not just those two. And a bump there by the 48, the back bumper of Jamie McMurray. 78 of Martin Trucks Jr. caught up. Danica Patrick also. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 88. Brian Scott up on the hood of the four of Kevin Harvick. Chris Busher, 23-year-old out of Prosper, Texas, was involved. Keep it behind you. Keep it behind you. Keep it behind you. One to go. One to go. The white flag is out. They're going to crash. Sawyer with a big run. They're crashing. Christopher Bell upside down. and climb out very fortunate that these trucks are as safe as they are look at this truck just get out of control probably about the fastest part of this speedway feel right out of the trioval mm -hmm. it just starts tumbling that young man with his dirt racing background i'm sure he's had many barrel rows in his career but none like that and Michael, I know you've been upside down. I've been upside like that. The flipping's not that bad, but it's the line. Hanging tough here on the restart. Oh, here oh, we, we go. Got trouble. That's Casey Kane to go sideways. Joey Logano nowhere to go. Oh, my. Clint Boyer have the field through the grass. Gone. The big one at Daytona has happened at lap 97. That is the huge one at Daytona. Justin Allgaier. Oh, the 18 Hamlin. gets on its roof. And Kyle Busch rolls upside down. Looks like the 16 got into the five a little bit too hard and just turned them. And man, what?
talk about getting piled up. Watch the three car when we get another replay of Austin Dillon come shooting up through the middle and trying and to avoid the accident. 26 of Cole Witt just got into the 18. And get some kind of big move here off turn four like Kevin did. Oh, and there Shots into the wall they with the in. one of McMurray. Three, four cars around. One on its roof. One car hard into the wall. That was a... a and move. it ends in flames and sparks. Menard, Menard had a fast car all day long, and here comes McMurray, and he just gets a little bit of piece of that 48. Lot white happened in the Unlimited. Looked like Jimmy's car just got loose and spun. Look at Clint Boyer in that 15 car get up in the air. Thing went all, it did a 360. Unbelievable. Did a barrel roll and came right back down on its wheels. Final corner at Daytona. Who's going to get here first? Regan Smith, seven. Keslowski, 22. Stewart, 33. And contact. Smith turned around. Tommy Stewart is going to win this race. A terrible crash coming to the finish. This is a big, big wreck. trying to clear debris off the racetrack and the car brakes won't steer and he slides up the track and into the back of that surplus helicopter jet engine on a trailer used to dry the racetrack. Larry, uh, Mike, I saw sparks coming out from the car as if it had a tire down or something. What an incredible turn of events. I've never, I've never in my life. Here's a, here's a different angle. See the safety trucks up top. I mean, it just exploded. When it hit it, it just exploded. And he was traveling at a high rate of speed, oh, yeah. trying to catch back trying up to catch with up the, field. the back of the field. Thank you. Stay on the line. They're trying to make something happen up top here. Stay on the other line. Jason no, White, and around they go. The that will bring the caution out as Joey Coulter goes flying into the catch fence, just past the start finish line, and that will lead. <laughs> Watch this. Look at that ride, will you? Is that Hornaday going underneath Joey Coulter? Hornaday. Underneath the 22 of Joey Coulter. Well, they can block the track right now if they yeah. wanted to. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, hang on, oh, Jeff Burton. Oh, oh, Burton up flat. into Hornish. Oh, he's well, back out there. Now the big one. There it is. Seven, eight, nine cars involved, many which were running inside the top ten. And that's the whole field, isn't that's it? That's the whole oh, field. And look at that. Nowhere to go. And these guys were trying to avoid the two coming back up on the racetrack. And the first group that saw them check up, and everybody pow, runs in behind them. And they're still coming in behind them. You see the 12, you see the 42, you see these guys. And there's just nowhere to go. There's I mean, there are no openings nowhere. on the racetrack whatsoever. Nowhere to go. It, 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 and, and I can't, you can't, you can't imagine sitting at home driving into that at 170 or 80 miles an hour, getting up to speed, but driving into that and not being able to know. There in the 88, watch burn. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Oh, And she's all right after a hard crash, and the caution flag is out. Where is the contact? Somebody's going to come down into her, I think. Almirola. Yeah, right there. He got on the bumper of it. Looked like McMurray's car, the one. Turned him a little bit to the left. Thank God for safer barriers. That was a hard, hard lick. It's almost that car didn't even look like it slowed down as it was going across there. I'm gonna make it rain, so rain.